How's it going everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we're we'll looking at 5 things you should be doing daily in New World. But before we get into that, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. Now, let's get into it. There's tons of things to do in New World, and as a player of the game, it can sometimes get overwhelming. So today we're going to be looking at the things you should be doing daily in your New World routine. For experienced players, you might have heard of these before, but hopefully there's a little something in this video for players of all skill levels. The first thing you should be doing is getting your three daily faction missions done. You can always do more, but the first three give you massive bonuses that are really worth getting. The higher the zone you can complete them in, the better, and for me, I usually get mine done in Brimstone Sands, because it's the highest level zone that you can also get territory standing in. I usually do three of the PvE missions because it's mindless and quick. Some of them in Brimstone can be a bit tricky, so if you struggle with any, you can always cancel them and wait a few minutes for the new ones. After doing this for a week or so, you'll know which ones to avoid and which are best for you. Getting 3 of these done a day nets me 675 gold, along with roughly 19,000 faction tokens. These tokens are used every day to purchase the 2 daily gypsum orbs from the faction store, and the rest I convert into more gold via the masterwork material conversion method. If you don't know how to profit off of your faction tokens, I'll put a link at the top of the video and in the description below to a video I made a while back going over all the methods and how to do them. If you're more of a PvP player, you could even go and do the PvP missions instead of the PvE ones. You'll get significantly less gold and territory standing for doing this, but you will get PvP track experience and Azos salt for these, which can easily balance out your rewards in the long run. This whole process usually takes me no longer than 10 minutes to complete, and it's a great way to start out my day in New World. Plus, by doing my missions in Brimstone, I go past a lot of acid pool chests, so there's chances at Golden Scarabs every day to increase my cash stack. After that, I make sure I complete my daily diamond gypsums. What is needed to be done to get these changes from time to time, but at the moment, you get these items by killing monsters that will drop things called bags of juniper berries. In them, you will get gypsum, along with a good amount of gold and other items. This is a great way to get some more gypsum and gold, so it's worth finding out what you need to do to get these and adding them into your daily routine. I usually get these done while doing my 3 daily faction missions, but sometimes it'll be something else, like you get them from killing rabbits, and then just go out and do whatever it is. It never takes that much time, and it's very worth doing. Next up we have setting up buy and sell orders. I won't spend too much time on this one, since I have a video that'll be linked at the top and in the video description that goes in depth about this process for anyone who is new to it. But basically, at the start of every day when I log in, I like to head to the trade post and see any of my buy or sell orders I posted from the day before I've filled. And then from there, use the profits and any extra gold I have to set up more buy orders to be filled while I get the rest of my dailies done. I usually try to spend no longer than 5 minutes at the trade post, because if not it could get tedious. After I'm done with the trade post, I like to head around the town and utilize my daily cooldowns. The most basic of these would be the armor and weapon bumps via the gypsum kiln. Because you can only use gypsum to level up each piece of gear once a day, until you have every gear type maxed out, it's important to make use of this feature daily to speed up the process of maxing out your character. Even once you hit max level for all, it's still useful to do to increase your umbral shard stack for leveling your gear sets. Plus, you could get some pretty decent gear from these boxes. Another cooldown I like to utilize is my daily crafting cooldowns. Any crafting skill you have maxed out at 200 has a certain item that can be crafted only 10 times a day, and because of this, these items not only give you tons of XP for the skill line, which can contribute to you getting aptitude crates, but the items also usually sell for a good profit on what you have to spend to make them. Like with smelting for example, for 5 auricalcum ingots, 1 tovium, 1 cinnabar, 1 obsidian flux, and 2 charcoal, you can make an asmodium, which sells for more than the sum of all those items together. Buying these items you need in bulk via buy orders, and then crafting 10 of them per day and selling them via sell order will bring in tons of gold and it gives great XP. So for every crafting skill you have at 200, it's worth looking at the trade post in your server to see if you can make a profit off of these cooldowns, and then utilize them daily. It takes no more than a few seconds a day if you have the items ready to go, and can significantly help grow your cash stack. Plus, if you can gain an aptitude level every day from this process, you'll be getting emerald gypsum as well, which is just a bonus. Another great cooldown to take advantage of, especially if you still need gypsum, is crafting your daily topaz gypsum potion. Simply buy 5 of whichever item you can use to craft it, preferably whichever goes for the cheapest in your server, and then craft it at a tier 5 camp. You can make one a day and use it to get 10 topaz gypsum from level 55 or higher monsters. It can really help if you still need expertise bumps on your gear. 
Another daily thing I like to do, which kind of goes along with the previous point about using your daily gypsum cooldowns, is getting in two games of Outpost Rush and 3v3 arenas every day. There's tons of benefits of doing this. For starters, there's an extra 4 gypsum orbs a day you can use, but also you'll be getting PvP experience and progressing your PvP rewards track, which unlocks tons of great in-game rewards like gold, gear, emotes, and more. Plus, by participating in this kind of content, you'll be getting better at using your character, and after every game, the rewards aren't bad either. If I can't play for very long, I usually just do the 3v3 arenas, because they are quick, but if I have a lot of time to play, I get my OPRs in as well. It's worth noting that OPR matches guarantee one per game if you contribute enough, while arenas have a chance of not getting you one if you lose, but you can just keep playing until you get your two. If you're not the best at PvP, and would still like to participate in Outpost Rush for the Gypsum, I'll link a video above and in the video description below to a video that I made about how to OPR as a player who isn't great at PvP. After you've done all these things, you've laid a great groundwork, and if you still have more time to play, the options are endless. You can go on a chest run, do some expeditions, continue on with more PvP content, grind for certain items, level up some life skills, craft some gear, or even go do some money makers. I will leave a playlist to some of the money makers I use frequently at the end of this video, if you're interested in any of them. There's so much fun stuff to do in this game, and by adding these 5 things into your daily routine, you'll be maxing your character out in no time. Let me know below if there's anything else you do daily that you think will help other players out. And if this video was any help, please consider leaving the video a like, and subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. But until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching another video. If you'd like to see more New World content, then click on any of the videos on screen now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.